course, you know, coming after the game, of course, you're going to feel the pain up in certain areas. But um, other than that, there's nothing recovery and everything's going to fix. Shador, how would you kind of rate your play side and how would you describe what the new team was? Losing score in the game. That's, that's, the, that's the greatest point. What about the new team? How would you describe that? I don't think nobody really laughs, you know, to play around whenever they lose. You know, so I think I think everybody, we're just going to get back to the drawing board and watch the film and understand, you know, what we got to improve. Thank you, man. So how big was the impact of the crowd here tonight at Memorial Stadium on the performance you guys have on the field today? On who? On you guys. In terms of your performance playing, obviously last year you played at Folsom. Did you have one of the loudest and greatest uh, you know, crowd performances out there versus you're coming here, you're having over 100,000, I believe, fans. I don't really, I don't really think the crowd. I think it was just like maybe everybody on the team, you know, maybe we just wasn't ready, you know. But overall, I don't think the crowd kind of like affected me personally. So uh, follow up here. How do you think the the loss today is going to impact your performance against CSU, which obviously. Last year, you beat Nebraska by a fair amount. CSU was a very tight win. How did this loss today impact your performance going into next week? Uh, really just get back to the drawing board, understand what we were on, understand that they're going to try to expose the same thing that happened. So we just get back and try to fix those problems that was going on and be ready for the game. Thank you. Shador, a lot has changed with the offense, right? you got a new scheme, new linemen. Does it feel like you're still dealing with some of the same issues as an offense that you guys dealt with last year at all? I'm not sure I didn't watch the film yet. But just in general, I mean, does it feel like, you know, it's just a constant pressure in your face? What, what does it look like from your eyes back then? Well, I mean, I could, I, could, I could feel, like, feelings and everything is, like, temporary, you know? So it's like, and there's a lot of emotions and stuff going into it. So I want to be able to look at everything first before I have a true assessment. I really feel. The last thing you said, maybe you weren't ready. Did you guys? Did you? You didn't feel unprepared heading into this game, right? No. What I'm saying is, okay, you gotta understand. You 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 get out there and everybody, um, you prepare. You do everything the right way, like you're supposed to. But you gotta make sure everybody, you know, is is on that when the big lights and everything come on, and you know, like the small mistakes and everything may expose some things. So that's kind of that's that's what I mean by that. More, Nikki. With the preparation and everything, you know, that was there. It was just like Will at that point. What were your conversations like with Pat Shermer, and why do you feel like the offense wasn't able to respond against Nebraska's defense? I mean, Nebraska got a great D-line. Um, essentially, that's what it was. I don't think um, – I think they did – I think they fought a great game plan, and they and they did what they were supposed to do. Stop. So that was it. Shador, how important do you think it is for this offense to continue to, you know, develop, you know, a running game and continue to be balanced and, you know, try to be more balanced? How do you think that can kind of help, you know, your game and obviously this offense as a whole? I mean, how many times did Riley get touched? Said what? How many times did Riley get touched? There was able, was like, once. of course, of course, whenever you're able to run the ball consistently and whenever you're able to, then that opens up the pass, you know. But it's just like you got to understand like what, what what your team good at. So it's like, why would we keep running the ball if, okay, we are, we out there and we get in a situation where it's a must get and we don't get it. Right. Are those like kind of like fourth and one conversions that haven't gone you guys away in the last couple of weeks? Does that kind of play into everybody's mind? Is that kind of something on your mind when thinking about, you know, advancing the ball more than that? No, I'd rather, if we're going to go down, I'd rather go down swinging, honestly, because I know I can throw the best punch. Last one, go ahead. The pick six early on, how much do you think that impacted the rest of the game? A lot. It was just, you know, a, a rookie mistake, honestly. That's what it was. So it, it, it's small things like that that kind of like things that we that just can't happen, you know, like truthfully. But that stuff happens, so we just got to bounce back from it and learn from that situation and uh, just be ready for it. Thanks, sir. Thank you. Thanks, sir.